in Padova, I'm in a taxi and I'm heading to the gym. I'm going to start my vlogs again. I've said this every year for like 10 years and it's so bad because I'm just I'm just gonna do it this year. Just arrived at Colbacchini, which is where I train in Italy. And it's a sunny day. Brittany's just arrived. She is. She always looks so nice. We've got gym today, so we started at 2.30. I never upload them, but I'm, Brit, I'm uploading this one. In Jesus' name, I'm uploading it. And yeah, welcome to Colbacchini, where the magic happens. <laughs> so I'm currently in Santo, um, walking Melon for the third time of the day because he needs another toilet run. I completely forgot to update you guys in the gym, but I went to get my nails done after that. And yeah, I'm gonna go home, have a shower, make some food, but currently just walking the dog. I'm filming on my iPhone, so I literally can't see anything while I'm filming, which is kind of annoying. <gasps> oh, maybe if I get a camera and put it at the back of my phone, I'll be able to see. I mean, a mirror, that could work. This is my outfit. Walk <laughs> with the dog and I look like a mess. Melon! <laughs> come on, come on, don't give up. There, okay. Just finished an amazing day at the track. And we're heading to lunch. That part. Wait. That part. <laughs> that part. Amazing day. Such a good day. We're thriving. <laughs> we're living. Living. So sun's, so sun's out, you know. Good morning, guys. So this morning, me and Melon are off to the vets because he's going to get a passport. And that will make traveling with him so much easier. So right now, it's currently 8.55 and I start training in one hour. So... No, two hours. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this and then head to the track in a bit. It's Friday, so we have general strength today and then tomorrow will be more of a hard running session. But yeah, stay tuned, me and Melton. Me and Melon are just waiting outside the vets. Our appointment is in about five minutes, so I thought I'd give him a little walk before. Uh, for some reason, I didn't wear a jacket. <laughs> I'm freezing. <laughs> Today's gonna be a good day. My brother arrives to Italy, which will be nice to see him. We got the passport, didn't we, Melon? <laughs> morning, guys. So it's Saturday morning here in Padova. I'm on my way to the track. Um, it's quite cold today, so I've got like one million layers on. But I'm excited because my brother arrived yesterday night. We went out for dinner, and today we're gonna go to Milan to watch the football so that's gonna be fun be a little road trip as well and I've never well I've been there but I haven't been there from Padova so that'll be fun so yeah I'll keep you guys updated today and speak to you later So I've just arrived in my hotel. I'm in the Radisson Blue, Tottenham Court Road, London, and I've just gone on Deliveroo and they have yuacha, which is like my favorite food. So I'm gonna order that. This is my room that I've got. A nice, and there's a bath, <laughs> which I'm really excited about because now I can have a bath. I can soak my legs after my session today. That was just so hard. But um, yeah, can I get some food? It's quite late. So bath, food, bed morning it's an exciting day tomorrow of course i've had a spillage in my suitcase 
So I've spilt a shower gel all in here. Anyway, as I mentioned before, this is a really exciting day for me because I don't want to say it, but I'll just show you. <laughs> Um, it's 9 a.m. or oh, 8 a.m. and I'm waiting for an Uber, Tottenham Court Road, heading to Great, heading to Kent. Just waiting for my Uber. I'm dressed like a literal astronaut today, but it's freezing, so it's fair. And had a very exciting morning. Um, <clears throat> I did. I have a project I'm working on and I was able to visit it this morning so that's moving on nicely. Huacha, literally one of my favourite places. I've just got the jasmine rib and fried rice so I'm gonna enjoy that with my chopsticks which I can't use. Um, I'm just gonna have a nap which is about three o'clock now, 2.30, three and I'm tired and I'm still to have my event tomorrow <clears throat> with Randox so stay tuned for that. So, I'm treating myself. Oh my god, this looks insane. I don't want to get this on the bed, but... Well, I might go for a walk <clears throat> to, like, Oxford Street and stuff later, just to, like, I don't know, maybe get hot chocolate, see the Christmas lights, since I'm up here, it's good to make the effort. Uh, and yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys a bit later. This is way too much food for me, but how amazing does that look? Those ribs look insane. I'm probably going to eat, like, two of them. So this was me the next day with the Randox team. I was so happy to be shooting my first campaign with them. I explored their store. This one was in central London. We did some filming for the campaign. And yeah, it was a really fun day. I had a really fun time shooting with Randox and um, I just couldn't believe how the campaign actually ended up coming out. I was all over the underground in London. So straight after the shoot, I flew back to Venice. Um, I was straight back to training the next day and I actually had a body analysis with our nutritionist. So she did all of my body measurements just to make sure I'm in good shape. She has a look at my body fat, my body mass, muscles, just to kind of like have a check to see where I'm at. So this was good. I didn't remember I had that. If I knew I had that, I wouldn't have had those ribs in London. <laughs> just kidding. And then I had a track session. Coach had me using this rubber band thing that actually was crazy hard to walk in. And then after that, I did some max velocity hurdles, as you can see me here. Yep, practicing the upright running, which is what I need to work on. And then after that session, we had a weight session in the gym. So here's me just putting on my weight shoes. And yeah, gym vibes with the group. And then here's me in South Africa. We went to South Africa on a training camp for three weeks and I didn't actually get any footage for the vlog of me here. So here are some random bits of footage that I had on my phone. Um, but overall, it was a really good camp and I had an amazing three weeks preparing for the season. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlogs. I'm on a flight back to London Heathrow. I've just left South Africa, Stellenbosch, Cape Town. And I was out there for three weeks on a training camp, which was really good. Um, I really feel like, oh, my eyes are turning. I really feel like I've got some good preparation in. Um, training was amazing. It was such a successful camp. And yeah, I'm just feeling really positive about the season that's coming ahead of us. 2024 is gonna be very special. Um, and yeah, I was just having like a little reflection moment so I thought I would just pick up the camera and talk to it so I do love to do that but yeah so I've got eight more hours left on this flight um I'm gonna keep you guys updated um with me in the next like week or so because I'm back in Italy tomorrow and then I'm there for about a week heading to my first indoor race in Paris doing the 60 meters so I'm really excited about that so come along with me for the next like week or so whilst I get ready for my indoor races and yeah.
So I actually forgot to vlog, but I am in London and yeah, I'm about to leave to go to the airport now. So and you've been a good boy. See you in a couple of weeks, okay? I love you. I literally just had to run for my flight. I was so on time and then I ended up almost missing it. But I just scanned in, boarding now to Venice. And I shall see you guys on the other side. Oh my god, I'm literally out of breath. I'm on the right way. Too much. Gentlemen of the cabin crew, that's Mr. Frambois. Please make yourself known.